So hello, my name's Rob and this is Cattle Rabbit Scale Model Studios. And in this video, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. I've never done, I guess, a little bit of a look of a book before, um, but I recently got to borrow this first founding Space Marine book, art book, off my friend and it just absolutely blew me away. I really wanted to show everyone. Um, as always, I will leave any information in the description below. Uh, stay tuned for pictures. I'll put some of my favorite art pieces at the end, but I do suggest, you know what, buy this book, support the artists. Uh, one thing GW gets a lot of stick for, not crediting the artists. And although they are credited in this book, uh, they still do it in a very GW way. But I did want to kind of go through it because it was really just a, a lovely book. And I really appreciate the artwork and the artists that do bring the Warhammer universe to life. So we're going to take a bit of a look of it and just go through it together. So to start with, we've got this lovely, I guess, kind of foil embossed front cover. It's got a slight shine to it, as you can see under the studio lights. It's a hardback book. I think this goes for about £42. Um, as you can see, Guy Haley, John French, Nick Keimer, Dave Geimer, and Callum Davis. Probably butchered some of them names, I do apologize. And it's just a really good quality book. I was really, um, blown away by this. The way it's presented, the artwork in general, it's just stunning. Um, but to me, this is the most important page of any art book. These are the artists that bring the Warhammer 40,000 universe and, you know, most of the Warhammer universes to life. What I will do is I will take a nice high res picture of this and I'll put it right at the very end of the video. So if you do want to go and try and find some of these artists online and their work, then do you know what? I'll leave it all at the, at the end. But here we have our table of contents. Um, obviously you've got your Dark Angels, White Scars, Ultramarines, Imperial Fist, Space Wolves, all the way through to kind of like the, the Raven Guard. But as you can see, the book is just absolutely full of this lovely iconography that is it's just outstanding. And the beginning of the book kind of goes through a little bit about the, you know, the layout of the Adeptus Astartes and the the 20 original chapters there. We've got this absolutely stunning piece of artwork here, which is pretty iconic. I've, I've seen this before. The only gripe with this book is that the under the artwork, they don't credit the artist. So I don't know which of these artists had, you know, painted this piece. So once again, GW still doing a very GW thing, but hey, at least there's some recognition kind of uh, so here once again how the Adeptus Startes are laid out and then we move over to kind of more of the the armaments we've got this stunning I was actually really pleased to see this piece in there you know I, I've I've poured over Space Marine Codex quite a few times so to see the other half of it was uh you know a real a real I guess exciting thing I'm a sucker for artwork I love how it brings things to life so to see this in here was was great then there's some more individual units, your librarians, apothecaries, that type of thing. Um, a little bit about everything, but not enough to be overwhelming. And they shall know no fear with this stunning piece of artwork on the left. Um, that's really it for kind of like the overarching side of this book. And then we move into our chapters. So beginning with the Dark Angels, there's a little bit about each chapter maybe some of their, uh, I guess, uh, their, their Primarch, some of their traits of their Legion, you know, whether they adhere to the Codex Astartes and things like that. Everything's laid out just beautifully clear. And as you can see from the artwork, I mean, some of these I've never seen before, and I do always kind of really pour over the artwork. Um, they're just absolutely stunning pieces here. All the way through to like these little headshots and stuff like that. Most of you know, I'm a sucker for Primaris. You know, I, I've been in the hobby for just over five years. Primaris were always here for me. You know, I, I have no rose-tinted glasses of Firstborn and things like that. So, you know, I, I like a good mix of them. But to see the, the artwork really is just, you know, there's Azrael's helmet there. A little bit about, you know, the home worlds. The final thoughts of all the chapters. And we move on to the White Scars. This is a chapter I don't know too much about. Um, so I'm just gonna <laughs> stop talking for this one and let you all enjoy these beautiful pictures. And 
must say this is quite a unique piece in the book i really really like that piece it's a bit more cartoony but then space wolves my original love space wolves if ever there was a plastic lehman russ space wolves would be on the painting table again but this is i, I probably think one of my favorite chapters in the, the artwork for the space wolves and fenris itself as you can see here is just out of this world See the curse of the wolf in here. Aggressors, my favourite units. I think they look fantastic in Space Wolves colours. Settling a dispute while Logan Grimnar and the man himself there. I just look at that. You know, fighting with the Thousand Sons with Magnus there. It's just the Space Wolf just look is just stunning and then my boys in yellow the imperial fist uh, this one i really like i actually found myself reading through quite a lot of this um just as i was doing the book because obviously imperial fist i love them to bits so from the heraldry to their home world i, I quite like this scouts pop up quite a few times uh, in this book. So I don't know whether GW is trying to hint at something, but there we go. And there's the arm of Rogal Dorm. That's all they found. Lysander there. Tor Garadon with his tiny head. That piece there, I've, I've spent <laughs> a good majority of my time looking at. I think it's absolutely stunning. And obviously the Imperial Fist, the Blade Guard suit them so well. The best swordsmen in the Imperium come from the Imperial Fists. Then everyone's favourite, Vampire Boys, Blood Angels. Once again, a faction I don't really know too much about. See, one thing that always strikes me about the Blood Angels, especially the way they're depicted, is almost like the biblical, angelic look that they all have, you know, especially of like the Sanguine Guard and, you know, their... It just really is something quite almost like the the, the religious kind of theme suits these so well. Just absolutely stunning. There's Dante and Mephiston. Iron Hands, once again, a faction I've never really dived into. One thing I do like about this book is there are little excerpts about how the Primaris were integrated into most of them. I love this piece here. I'm just going to look at that, how the appendages and limbs are made. And fitted with power armor. I love this. You know, he's obviously having a, a battle wound restored there. But as I was saying, you know, all of the chapters kind of have how the, the Primaris were integrated. I really, really like that side of things. Once again, absolutely stunning artwork. Everyone's favourite boys in blue now. Obviously, you need no introduction. The Ultramarines. I like the boys in blue, I must admit. It's not something I've ever done myself. That's quite an iconic shot there. I love this one here. I'm just going to stop talking because look at that. I love the fitting, the outfit of a space marine. Coronation of Gilliman, absolutely iconic. What a piece in all its glory. Then once again, moving on to the salamanders. One thing I really like about this book is everything is not overwhelming. There aren't pages and pages, which there probably could have been, but everything's just nicely packed into a couple of paragraphs, enough for you know, a newcomer or maybe someone like myself that doesn't know about maybe like the salamanders to kind of sink my teeth into. I think this is a really, really well-structured book as well, the way it flows.
and then the Raven Guard. Once again, I love the red and black colour scheme of the Raven Guard. I think it really, really stands out, especially the use of the beaky helmets. There we have Mr. Strike, everyone's favourite edgy emo <laughs> chapter master. But once again, every piece, even the chapters that I didn't know about, just have absolutely stunning artwork in them. And that's really it. You know, it's something to really be poured over properly. Um, I probably haven't done it justice, but it is an exceptional book and I really wanted to show it off to everyone. So, you know, it's definitely worth, I think, the, the money you pay for it in this case. It is extremely well presented, good quality. The artwork, once again, is absolutely stunning. And I think that the people that, that paint these bits of artwork really do do a fantastic job bringing the Warhammer universe to life. But so look, that's it for me. I'm going to leave you with some pictures of some of my favorite images here. Do let me know if you picked up this book below in the comments and what you think of it. And I'll see you all next time. God bless and take care.